but I'm also the president of the world's oldest constitutional democracy. Our democracy is broken, and the influence of money in politics is why. A system in which members of Congress spend between 30 and 70 percent of their time raising money from the tiniest fraction of the 1 percent is not a system that can represent us. It represents the funders. The Mayday Pack is a test, an experiment, to see whether we can build a movement big enough to get this democracy back. On May 1st, we set a goal of raising $1 million from grassroots donors in 30 days. No one thought it could be done, but we did it in just 13 days with almost 13,000 contributors and a median contribution of just $50. Now we've launched an even bigger target, $5 million from grassroots donors by July 4th. And when we reach that goal, we will have raised the money we need to launch a campaign so that we win in 2014, and when we come back in 2016, we can win a Congress committed to fundamental reform. So please pledge what you can, so that on July 4th, we can again declare our independence for a government that is proudly independent of special interests, for a government that we can trust will serve the people, this is your country's Mayday call. Join us and pledge your support. Thank you. Hello, YouTube. How y'all doing? I just made this video and the recording didn't work, so we're going to do it again. This time it's working, thank God. All right. Now y'all see this particular video. You saw the video clip in the very beginning. And the first words that comes out of this seller's name, right here, comes out of this guy's name, word mouth, is our democracy is broken. Yes, he says that. He says it multiple times. And he also says in the title, save our democracy. But then he contradicts himself at the bottom of the page. You see right here? Restore our republic. Okay. That set off a red flag for me, folks, right off the bat. The word democracy set me off right off the bat. Now, I did some research, and I need y'all's help. I got 10 links that I'm going to leave in the below section under this video. I'm also going to make a web page that will go at the top with all the links as well. So you can go to the web page and do your own research and your own due diligence. Okay. I need your help. There is something wrong with this. And I will show you why. Okay. Here is made a pack. You see the guy here. This explains it to you who he is. He is a law professor. Really? Is he? What law professor is going to talk to you about democracy? Now listen to me closely. What law professor is going to talk to you about democracy when he's a law professor and he should know better? Does that make sense to y'all? We are not a democracy. We are a democratic republic. Now, democratic republic, in the word in our Constitution or in the Bill of Rights, the word democracy does not appear. There's a reason for that, because we're not a democracy. We are a republic. Now, we have a democratic voting system. Democracy means 51% people. Okay, I'm going to say that for you one more time. We are not a 51 voting system. I mean, we are a 51% voting system, pretty much. That's all that we're supposed to be. They are not conducting business that way anymore. They are using 51% to abolish things and to throw you out of your homes, uh, take you away from your kids, and panels are making determinations of who, what, when, and where. They're using the 51% to our law system which is unconstitutional okay 
We are a free society. We're supposed to be sovereign, where it takes 100% of the vote. Could you imagine being on a trial for something that you didn't do, which there's been many of people that have went to, to jail for crimes that they did not commit, and they got proven innocence because they had to vote 100%. But just imagine if there was only 51%, in other words, out of 12 juries, seven of them voted that you were guilty. But, you know, you see my point here? You go to jail, but the rest of you didn't get to boast your opinion because you didn't count. You understand? That's the reason why it's anonymous, anonymous is because of your republic. But there's still screwed up things in our law that is changing every day. The law books and the law counters has gotten so big that a lot of that needs to go away. Okay? It's just my opinion. Now, I showed y'all that. Or showed you this. Now I want to show you something else. That's very important. Now, y'all see this date, correct? May 5th. This is when this guy updated this page. All right, now I'm going to show you something that disturbs me. All right, we're going to scroll down here just a little bit. Now, on May 30th, you see that? This is the day that we started, or I started, July 5th and 6th to stay at home and spend no money. Y'all remember that? Yes, it is. The same day. He updated his page, and I come out with this. All right. Let's go back and look and see if it's got a time. Um, May 30th at 38.31 GMT. I don't know what the GMT means. I don't know if that's close to the same time or not. Uh but anyway, you see the time. Some of you can figure that out. I don't know. I, I'm not. I, I didn't try to go into that. I just thought I saw a time a minute ago, so I thought I'd come back and look. It does have a time, but I don't. I ain't got time to do that right now. The video will be too long. All right, here's another page. Here's another page. And remember, a couple of months ago, when I did a web page and I told y'all about the Bitcoin going belly up and going bankrupt well look what is connected to his web page and I'm talking about this is vine leads going here and there and also and over here and over yonder this is called the speed coin hmm the Bitcoin went out and now we got this isn't that strange or isn't that odd to y'all Sure it is. It's just my opinion. Now, I've done some more research, and here's another page. I'm going to provide all of these links. You can do all of this research. Okay, you see all of this, Cloudflare. And one of the biggest things is, is about his Cloudflare is he's got an insurance, an insur insured Cloudflare that won't go down. Isn't that strange? That means there's a lot of money behind him, wouldn't you say? Now, they said they got a million dollars in 13 days. You saw that on the other page. That may be true. But when you come over here to their way, on the way back machine, this is their page, okay? They started this page in 2011, and we're going to open the first page. Well, we may not be opening the first page. It's not opening at all. Okay, yeah, there, there you go. Let's see. All right. It did open. And we're going to go to 2 November 10th. First day it got crawled. It doesn't work. The only page over here that does work, folks, is uh, January 4, 2014. Okay? That's the only one that works. All the rest of these other ones do not work. In other words, the page has been changed. It does not work anymore. Okay? Now... <clears throat> I don't understand why that is. Uh, it's been on since 2011, and he's been working with Mayday.us. 
okay? Now, it's up to us people to restore our republic. It's up to us to stay at home and show them if this guy really, okay, if he really got a million people or a million dollars in 13 days, a million dollars, I'm talking about doing something for free. I'm talking about costing them more than a million dollars. Or five. He's trying to draw five million dollars in 30 days here. And he's already got $512,000. Now he just updated this in May. May 30th. Okay. He's already got a million dollars. We're supposed to have a million dollars to fight for our constitutional or our democracy, he says, in the video. He says that in this video. Save our democracy. Okay? Now, is that what we want? Or do we want a democratic republic, which that's what we're supposed to have? And the only way, with him being a law professor, he should know this. The only way for us to actually do that is to abolish the Act of 1871. Would you not, would you say that to be true? Of course. The only way to get rid of complete democracy out of our system is to abolish what causes us to be a democracy to start with. Okay? The only way to do that is to abolish the Act 1871. Now, I'm giving you this information. I hope y'all help me out. This is the video. He has no comments. No thumbs up don't work. You can't do comments. It has no description area. But when you go to his channel, which this is his channel, and you click on videos as well, I'm going through this kind of fast, folks. He has no videos. So that means that this video is on, but it is unpublished. In other words, he's using his websites to push this video. Okay? Let's just refresh it and see how many views he's got on this page now, or on this particular video. Okay, it didn't go up much. This morning it only had 1,200. So that tells me that the video hasn't been up very long. Or as long as uh, you might think. It's been up since June 4th, and this is June 9th. So, you see the video, you've seen all the information. I am going to make a web page uh, for all of this and put the video on there. Um, I do want y'all to help with this, so please do find out all the information that you possibly can find out, and let's do something about this. This is our chance to become a free, sovereign nation. There is a link on my page that also tells you about patent, a land patent. Sorry, it took so long. I'll probably cut that part out. But anyway, it's a land patent that also has to do with your sovereignty rights. It's a good web page. I probably are going to link that in here as well for y'all. It'll probably be on the, the, the bottom. Okay, so you can see that page because that's very important to you as well. That's more stuff for the Act of 1871. Folks, it's up to us to be free. We are not a democracy. We do not want democracy. Democracy is 51%. We do not want that. We want 100%. We only want to use the democratic voting system, and that's it. That's where the majority of the people voting for a certain person because some people can't vote because of being jailed, having felonies against them, or been from another country, they hadn't been here long enough, and some of those people aren't allowed to vote because they're not here, they're on visas, and so on and so forth, and on and on and on and on. Point of it is, is that the only thing that's supposed to be the only thing that has the word democracy in it, and that only means because the word democratic has the meaning as democracy. So with that folks, remember, from my cold dead hands, 
Abolish the act 1871. Prove your freedoms. But I'm also the president of the world's oldest constitutional democracy. Please go to the links in the below sections so you can actually see the real information and all the information that goes along with the story that I may be telling you. So you can see the truth of everything, including the Act of 1871. So much love to y'all. Y'all have a great evening. And for my cold, dead hands, abolish the Act of 1871.